News Nation Prime with Marnie Hughes. Good evening. I'm Rudy Shabazi in for Marnie Hughes tonight, and we begin in Russia, where reports of misinformation and frustration with the war in Ukraine may be putting an even bigger target on Americans there. The State Department, in a new warning, is raising concerns about U.S. citizens still in Russia, saying they're being singled out by Vladimir Putin and Russia's government. It comes with several Americans already detained, including WNBA star Brittany Griner, Marine veteran Trevor Reed, and security executive Paul Whelan. Meantime, on the ground, major Ukrainian cities are still under attack by nonstop airstrikes, even after Russia claims it's pushing back its forces. In just a moment, I'll be speaking with a woman on the ground near Kyiv. But first, correspondent Kelly Meyer is live in the nation's capital tonight. And Kelly, the distress with Russia at an all-time high right now. That's right. The U.S. remains skeptical of their pledge that they are scaling back troops. The Pentagon saying today they are falling back, but not going back home. They say they may just going to refit, resupply, and then move right back into the country. Americans being targeted in Russia. In recent weeks, we have seen reports of U.S. citizens being singled out and detained by the Russian military in Ukraine. The State Department says Americans face harassment by Russian security officials and can be arrested. Spokesperson Ned Price says they don't have a solid number of Americans detained in Russia, but they're able to visit a few notable Americans like WNBA star Brittany Griner, who remains incarcerated. The State Department warning Americans of traveling to Russia and Ukraine as the war enters a new phase. Russia promising to scale back troops as peace talks continue. U.S. officials caution, don't call it a Russian retreat. The question of whether he's pulling back his forces depends on how you read exactly what's going on. Thus far, there is no clear evidence that he's pulling all of his forces out of Kiev. The Pentagon says those forces are moving into the neighboring country of Belarus out of the line of fire where they are resupplying and refitting after taking a beating in their effort to overrun the Ukrainian capital. The Ukrainians are fighting very, very well um, and, um, and, the, and the Russians are not. Pentagon spokesperson John Kirby says it's possible the forces could return to the eastern part of Ukraine, shifting their focus to the Donbass region saying that could lead to a lengthy, more drawn-out conflict. It would be foolish uh, to try to predict exactly how long uh, this could go. And Rudbeck, going back to that State Department warning, they are saying and telling Americans don't travel to Russia or Ukraine. For those that are already there, they warn, stay alert. Rudbeck. Kelly, thank you. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.